Hey, what's up everybody? Today I decided to play the demo of Sword Art Online Last Recollection. Recollection, I'm sorry. It came out last year. I don't know anything about it. Uh, all I know is that it looks fun. I've never given this series a proper chance. I kind of don't like it because uh, to me they're nothing but a bunch of ripoffs of the Dot .hack series. And I've actually played some of them some of these games on the PS Vita and I've actually watched a few episodes uh, of the original anime that came out like I don't even know 10-15 years ago and yeah to be completely honest with you they are in my opinion ripoffs but maybe we shouldn't judge them as video games for that I mean there's a lot of ripoffs out there that are pretty damn good right uh, so yeah the ones on the Vita I do not recommend. I recommend their PS4 or Switch counterparts. The Vita versions, uh, as much as I love the PS Vita, the Vita versions kind of suck. Yeah, Bandai Namco, I agree. If I don't agree, you're not gonna let me play it, so why ask in the first place? What a fucking way to wash your fucking hands. Anyway, so copyright. And what? How, how did it come to this? To have these things in a video game, in the menu of a video game. Remember the NES, Super NES era where you could just put the game and play? I mean, and nowadays we get all these things. I mean, what the hell is this? Jesus. Anyway, the settings. Playability, simple, detailed, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not quite well versed in the Sword Art Online games. In fact, the, the first games I play on the PS Vita, the first one is like very different, like a very different game, kind of an action RPG, but you don't, you don't fully control your character. And then there's a crossover with another series that stayed in Japan, I think. That was kind of fun, but again, don't play the Vita versions. I recommend the PS Vita for a lot of JRPGs, not this. Basic settings, uh, too much settings, man. <laughs> Let's just start a new game. Uh, difficulty chosen does not affect the narrative, enemy rank, blah blah blah. Can it, can it be changed later? Let's just go with normal. I'm gonna suck anyway. <laughs> anyway, there's barely any music so far. All you can hear is my fan. So far. Music out start. Anyway, so, wow, when was the last time I streamed on Twitch? That was like a month ago. Probably thinking, what a lazy ass son of a bitch you are, Eric. It's not that, I was busy with videos and I came back on streaming on YouTube. Well, no English dub, just the Japanese one. I have no idea what this game is about. It's one of the million Sword Art Online games. Don't ask me if it's a sequel, prequel, whatever. This is the kind of stuff that I want to stream on Twitch. And actually the kind of stuff that I've been streaming on Twitch since I came back on uh, October last year. Just pretty much going in completely blind, trying out, like, random games and demos and knowing barely anything about them. I think that's a fun idea for Twitch. YouTube, I'm probably gonna leave it for games that I kinda know already. Or new games, but that are kinda like, significant <laughs> Oh man, yeah, it's been like a month, um, probably 30 or 40 days since my last stream here. I lost a lot of subscribers, so far I only have three. I'm gonna shut up now and let you enjoy the story. Oh, 
私が認識して初めて私にとって世界になる私が死ねば私が見ている世界もおしまい私が死ねば私は世界が見られないだからそれは世界の死と同じなのではそう尋ねる私に母さんは言った母さんは死んでもその思い出はドロシーの中で生きてる父さんの思い出も母さんの中で生きてる自分が死んでも命はそこで終わりじゃないんだよ決して見えずとも続いていくものが確かにある世界はそうして自分が消えた後も続いていくんだと母さんの言うことが本当なら私の命も誰かの中で生き続けるきっと無駄じゃない母さんもしそばで見ていてくれるのならもう通してください母さん私あなたに誇れる生き方ができたでしょうか立派に生きてもう頑張らなくてもいいの母さんもう通してください Man, what the hell? <laughs> I think this is like too deep for a Sword Art Online game. Oh, it says gameplay recording pause because you entered a block scene. Really? So you guys can see shit? Oh, it's the opening. Oh, yes,、yeah, keep it. Yeah. Okay, we're back. It was just the opening. Okay. Bandai Namco doesn't want people to stream their Sword Art Online last recollection opening cinematic. Probably to avoid copyright, maybe. Maybe, maybe they're doing us a favor. A lot of openings have copyright. Well, these graphics. No offense to Falcom. I love Falcom, but these are Falcom level of graphics. In fact, they're even worse.、Uh, it's Bandai Namco, so I'm surprised. They don't really put a lot of money in the Sword Art Online series for some reason. And here's the protagonist that we all know, even if we aren't fans. Everybody knows who this guy is. Everybody knows. I don't know these characters. Alice, never seen her before. She was definitely not in the first game. <clears throat> nah, I'm no hero. Typical humble JRPG protagonist stereotype. Modest and shit. Saves the world multiple times and nah, I'm no hero. Oh no, you give me too much credit. Yu Gi Oh! Never heard of him. I downloaded this game, this demo, because I want to see the action. You know, I don't. Unless you're a fan of the series, or unless you're into generic stories full of tropes and cliches. Uh, I do not recommend playing these games for their stories.
If you know nothing about the Sword Art Online series, they're basically about characters playing an MMORP. So these are the characters of the characters we're playing as. Yeah, like Dot Hack. Think back on the story to date, head to the Eastern Gate. Think back on the story, it's only gonna show us more story. I mean, that's not good. We Do we care? Do we actually care? No, we don't care. But that pretty much tells us this is a direct sequel of something. He's got a nice pair of swords. If he's gonna be like full straight on hack and slash, playing with this guy is gonna be fun. There's a fighting game. Oh, he's a swordsman of the underworld now. Okay. So there's a fighting game called uh, Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax on PS3 and PS Vita. You can play as this guy. He's one of my favorite characters to play as, actually. That's the usual waifu, the legendary waifu. No, right? I don't even know. Wonder what the fuck happened with the girl at the beginning. I mean, in case you weren't here, there was like another character. Yeah, that's her. That's the female heroine. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that word anymore. It's it's offensive. Okay, the female hero, I guess. Alice. Artificial label. I couldn't read. We're gonna f be full of Alice's in a, in a few years. We got Alexa's already. Algorithms. And Futaba's all over the place. Not even paying that much attention to the story, I'm just looking at the cat with the sign. Not sure what's going on, but uh, yeah, if you guys care about the story, I don't think you should play this game before playing the uh, previous one, or how many sequels are there? I mean, if you guys think that Trails games are a pain in the ass to follow because there's so many games and all of them are, all of them are connected, uh, introducing Sword Art Online, baby. You ain't seen shit. Some frame rate issues there. Don't know if you noticed. Yes, I can keep up. Oh, tutorial, alright. With tutorial screens appearing right on my face in the middle of a combat. The Cloud Top Garden, yeah, we just got spoiled. Big spoiler alert, everybody, these two characters faced off in the Cloud Top Garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I mean, if the action's fine, I mean, it's, it, it's gonna be fun, right? Kind of what happened with Grand Blue Fantasy. Relink. The story was kind of like, mm, just kind of there, but the action was freaking amazing. Hey, tactic. Oh yeah, hack and slash. Oh yeah, look at this. Nice, the controls feel awesome. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm not even reading the tutorial. Am I getting it right? 
Oh yeah, right? Yeah, I can't move anymore. Got it right, I, I guess. So, what else? Oh man, let me fight. My movements are a bit stiff. Next, dodge my attacks. Press the step button in time with my blows. The step button? Which one is that? The circle button? Oh. Attack me then! There you go, perfect timing. Counter attack, no? Oh, I need to dodge two attacks. You know, I gotta say something right now. Not a fan of these games, but this is how you make tutorials in an action RPG without interrupting the flow of battle. Just put the tutorial somewhere in a corner. And that's it. Pretty sure I dodged that. <clears throat> there, I dodged it, right? Oh, it's gotta be perfect. You dodged that very well, the gloves are off. Now get through my attacks and land the combo that leads into your finish arts. Okay. Fine. So keep hitting the enemy. That's it, I broke her. Oh my god, okay. Well, the combat is great, guys. Well, the combat with this character. Gotta clarify that. You got rejuvenating her 300 experience points. Well, that's it, huh? That was fun. You know, I don't think I've ever said this anywhere, but whenever I play the Tales games, I usually play as a protagonist. It's kind of hard to make me switch to another character. Except in Legendia. Play the game with both Sanel and Chloe, the two main leads. What else, you know? All the other tales I remember playing with. The protagonist, sticking to the protagonist for some reason. Anyway. I mentioned that because I think um, I'm gonna stick to. Uh, what's this guy's name? Kirito? Kirito? Yeah, that guy. Kirito, right? Kirito. Yeah. How hard to memorize the name of such a forgettable character. Anyway, so yeah, but. Gameplay wise, he, I mean, great gameplay, great combat, great controls, responsive controls. Yeah, it just caught my attention watching a little bit of gameplay of it. I was like, hmm. I watched it and I was, man, I said to myself, I thought it was going to be interesting, combat wise, and didn't disappoint so far. Girl from the Heavens. Is that the girl who fell from the sky at the beginning of the game? The Eastern Gate is about to collapse and the war with the Dark Territory is imminent. Imminent. Check up on the gate and talk to the commander, uh, Commander Ber Berkuli. <laughs> That's a terrible fucking name. Berkuli. Berkuli. Oh man, we gotta talk to Commander Berkuli. You can check what you need to do. The command, yeah. Oh wow, this is too fast! Look at this! Damn! Yeah, you know, autosave or in the pillars you can manual save, that's great. Where is it? Oh, it's fast travel? Oh, that's, that's cool. Save. Oh man, the camera... Oh man! It's too fast, too sensitive. Can it, can it be changed? Uh, emotion, what the hell? Yeah, camera, camera, distance, camera, distance. Oh, sheath? No. I can't even open the menu. What the hell? Could you... What did I do? The hell did I do? Fucking hell. If 
find a discarded piece of half eaten bread. How exciting. First item I find in the game and it's the piece of shit. Well, I got some skill points at least. Camera's way too sensitive. Map is filled with various landmarks, locations, no one has named the area. Yeah, landmarks. That's a feature of Western RPGs that carried over to recent strategy RPGs. I mean, Japanese RPGs. Only one guy watching. Thank you, whoever the hell you are, for sticking around. Or is that one guy me? Huh. Thanks, Eric, for playing, streaming, and viewing the stream. Let's check out the other characters here. There she is. Asuna. She looks, uh, well... I'm not sure. This looks like a PlayStation 3 game, like a really sharp, high-quality PlayStation 3 game. Yeah, I wonder why Bandai Namco doesn't put a lot, of, a lot more effort into the, some of their games. You can see all the money went to Tales of Arise, Scarlet Nexus, Code Vein. And some others. Maybe they, well, they put a lot more effort into the combat. I like that. Okay, Leafa. Leafa. So all girls, huh? It's the girl squad. Well, this game is a harem, pretty much. Right, thanks. I'll be off then. Sure. You be off, man. Cute to what? Oh, man, I clicked too soon. I hope the human army troops, you do what you gotta do. So, about Lisbeth. Master Hammer. Use her in the life of any party. She smith a smith, a smith smite for Kirito before. And she heard about Kirito's supply. She went straight to the underworld. Okay, so that's the background of every girl, huh? Well, you can do this. You can actually do this. Demonetized in three, two, one. I wonder if you can get demonetized on Twitch because of this. You know, the camera is way too sensitive that it's not even fun doing it. Okay, Nikita. Can't fire an empty stomach. That store there has some good portable food. What's the war? Well, whatever. I just want to kick some ass. Can you, like, run faster? No. What is that? Did you see that? Oh. Okay, I completed a quest, apparently. That's nice. Tons of characters I know nothing about. Oh, so that's very coolly. Fanatio? Fanatio? What's up with those names, man? Fanatio? Maybe she's a fanatic. Yay! Someone subscribed! Thanks for the sub! Yeah, Amazon Prime is weird. Man, again. 
巻き込まれているだけに過ぎないんですよ巻き込んでもらわないと困る知らないところで傷つかれるより友達はアリスを守れないだろううんキリトの言う通りだ最前線で戦うのは<笑>揃いも揃って大バカ者ですねけれど私はいい友人を持ちましたありがとうそれで実際暗黒海側と戦ったら勝敗はどうなると予測されてるんだ俺たち聖目士がいるんだからお前はこちらだと言いたいところだね戦争となるとそうは言えねえなはい我ら聖護騎士の突出したこの力は闇の軍勢ごときに負けることは I have no idea what these characters are talking about or who they are どれだけ勇猛に戦ったとしてもその数の前にひれ伏してしまう可能性があるんです I'm feeling exactly what Shut the hell up, Alice. Can I talk now? You know Japanese. You gotta say like a thousand words that get translated into seven words. Anyway, I kinda know how people feel when they play Trails into Reverie for the first time without knowing anything about the series, without having played any of the other Trails games before. Yeah, they probably felt the way I'm feeling right now, like who, what the hell is going on here? But anyway, all I wanna do, all I wanna do is fight! I like her hair though. Yeah, anime. Girls with long ass, super straight hair. I'm a fan, not gonna lie. So we're just gonna sit here. Oh, that's the girl from the beginning. And this is what happened at the beginning. Oh, okay. Oh, she's got her daughter or little sister or whatever with her. Oh man, I could be the one doing that, you know? Is this a video game or what? Let me do the fighting. Alright game, play by yourself. Dorothy, huh? I like her already. She reminds me of the girl from Shining Resonance Refrain. What was her name? Excella? No. Uh, forget her name. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go! She disappeared, did you see that? She said two words and the translation was shall smile not for their victory is certain. Okay. Can we fight? Can I play? Okay. 
そしてあれを倒さないとで合ってるかスケダチ感謝します黒髪の剣士名前をお聞きしてもキリ君の名前は後で教えてくれ Finally. Oh man, during battle you can check your party. Let me fight! Oh no! Look at all the skills, man. This is the same schematics as most action RPGs, like. Grand Blue Fantasy. Oh, it's another tutorial. No more tutorials. Let me handle how to find. I like finding out for myself what to do and how to do it. Doesn't look convoluted. Okay. The enemy will use a bullet skill. Black Howling. Yeah, sure. But I gotta wait. Uh, did I get it? Uh, okay, it looks like I did. One more time. Force tutorials, man. I fucking hate them. Come on, man. There we go. We did it, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think we did it. Okay, can I keep fighting? Oh, stop. And tutorials in action RPGs are the worst. Sometimes you don't even need them in turn based or strategy. Okay, eliminate, right? So. It says switch. Okay, I can't switch to any other character right now. Can play as Dorothy. Okay, I won. Is it called a synthesis one? Oh, synthesis one. Dark territory. Matter no Ankoka. Orega Ilusion. Jinkai Karasrito. Nagan Nidamia Yoshi, the Kitai Sayoko, Snow. I'm pretty sure that it, if Sword Art Online, if this series had like a different cast and different story and maybe different world with every entry, it will be far more popular, mainstream and profitable. The fact that they are all of them connected with the same protagonist and the same cast and just a bunch of new guys on every entry. I think that's hurting the series a lot. I think they should be standalone. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sequels, right? But look at what's happening with the Trail series. You know, a lot of people don't want to play it because there's been too many fucking games already. And they're all connected. And they're like, oh, which, where should I, should I start? Oh, with Trails in the Sky. Oh, okay, how many games are there? Like, freaking 12. Oh, um, damn. 
No, it's not 12, it's actually just 10. It's 10, yeah. Uh, na, na, na. Yeah, it's 10, 10 games. 3, Sky, 2, Crossbell, and 5, Cold Steel. Okay, so yeah, 10 games. Steel, I mean, come on. I mean, I love the Trails games and I recommend them a lot, but... Yeah. I think the Trails hype is over. Hopefully everybody will be able to play th Trails through the A-Brick without having to play all the others, maybe. I mean, I'm a fan and I shouldn't be saying that. I instead should be encouraging people to play every single one of them from the start. Maybe I should do the same with this series, huh? Man, I need... I kind of need like an action, like like a mission, like uh, um, not just a, a tutorial boss fight. Like I want a complete stage. Know what I mean? One thing I liked about Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is that the developers were aware that their story wasn't that great. It isn't bad, you know, it's just an okay story at best in Grand Blue. But so so they knew that, and there's barely any chit chat. I mean the pacing in Grand Blue is incredible. Play, I don't know, play the first two hours of the game, you get a lot of enjoyment out of it. And instead, JRP is like this, there's like 80% dialogue and 20% gameplay and tutorials. But I'm only being an asshole because, I don't know, I like being an asshole, I think some people find it funny, right? And I make good points, right? Right? There's some frame rate issues, and this is the PS5 version, I'm streaming directly, okay, I'll stop complaining. I'll be completely positive now. That's what people want nowadays. Only positivity. The first hint of negativity, they walk away. Chapter 2, New Adventure. Why am I still playing? I read that... Okay, I was only gonna play the chapter 1. Anyway... Wow, you're following me way too close, man! Hey, wait, where's it? Uh, wasn't there a save point nearby? Oh, there he is. He was right behind me. And there's an armor shop in there. Can I jump? Yes, I can. How about some double jumping? No? Can I attack this guy? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's save. I still don't know how to bring up the menu. Doesn't seem to be a menu here, it's just this with the items and the skills. You press this to attack. Uh, this is just to boost up morale, I guess. Touchpad brings this thing, this menu, sub -men this sub menu. Like, why? Why isn't there a regular menu?
Hello. I want to talk to... Oh, there we go. Oh, you're still setting up? Fine, let's just go to the objective for more talking. Well, I got some hell, the herb. Subscribe to my Twitch channel for lame jokes, negativity, and cynicism. Darklander? What is this, like Valkyria Chronicles trying to raise awareness of other races, like in nowadays? Like in the real world? I mean, she's still white. So there's even more characters we've never seen before. I, I recognize some of the others, you know, that we saw at the beginning, some of the girls. I remember them from the first game. You know what the problem is with the first game? We released on the Vita and PS4. I'm not sure if it's on PS3. No, it isn't. It's not on PS3. Well, my point is that you play the first game and it also treats you as if you knew everybody. It's like the Witcher series. Like you play, you're like, oh, okay, I gotta start from the beginning, right? So you go and start with the first game and everybody's acting as if you knew everybody. Well, guess what? Grand Blue Fantasy is the same. Every single game treats you as if you knew everybody. But then both series have an anime. And in the anime, nobody knows each other, so I guess it's some kind of strategic way to make people watch the anime before playing any of the games. Five people left. You see, she never has said anything about uh, Dorothy being white. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't dislike this video. Sochi ヒオクな大地と安定した気候を持つこの場所 一体どれほどの年月を互いに憎しみ合っているか知らぬわけでもなかろうがああデュスルバート様の言う通りだ人海とダークテリトリーの間には血塗られた歴史がある人海人がどれほど殺されたか貴様には分かるまいここにいる
俺たちカッパこの場で信用を一つ乱さぬのはお見事ですが、ね、何かご存知だったのですか That guy looks like Doggy from the E series. さすが副機士長殿はお見通しかま今から言うつもりだったつまんないみんなこの話は本当だ Okay, so not everybody wants peace huh? out of the ten wise men. So she works for Shasta directly? Yeah, I wouldn't trust that. Like, you, 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 gotta, you wanna make an agreement? A peace agreement? Come to our land. Unarmed! Okay, 
我が身をもって知っていますぜひ和平への道を歩んでいただきたい挑むような彼女の言葉に俺たちは少なからず動かされたこちらから死者を出すことで話が進んだ人海側は和平施設団を形成し人員を送り込むことになった Okay, I'll admit, I'm starting to get interested in the story. Invested. Let's head back where? Can I get a mission? Please don't leave me with a tutorial boss fight as the only gameplay of the demo. Some demos are just too short. I remember the demo of Shining Resonance Refrain. Man, it wasn't even one hour long. It was only like half an hour long. But at least it was an entire mission in a boss fight. Is this game even out yet? Let me take a look. Okay, last recollection. was released on September 26th of 2023, released on PS4, PS5, Windows, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. Okay, so it's basically six months old. Um, okay. Interesting. Oh wow, so they're finally a couple? Yeah, it's one of those JRPG couples that take like 10,000 games to get like actually together and be an actual couple. Yeah, they're one of those. So apparently in this game they are... Well, does she mean something else with together? Sounds like me and certain minorities. Locked lights, huh? Well, all, all souls tuned to pillage or AI souls tuned to pillage? Okay, full body shot.
私が守るもの She'll keep me safe, huh? I bet you will. All these items I'm receiving and there's no menu to interact with them. Yeah, thank you. So we're going, right? Are we going or what? Well, we've got funds now, so we'd better do our preparations. Yeah, I know where the shop is, thank you very much. You need to show me. I, I saw it. I'm not blind, I can look it up myself. Yeah, I got 5,000 cash, baby! Go to the store and get ready, fine. A tutorial for buying stuff? Thanks, I don't need them. Hi, Welcome, Traveler's Erring. Okay. This is pretty much an accessory. So what should I prioritize? Agility? This one's a more expensive one. What else is there? That's it? Let's see what's next. Well, I can't move. Oh, there. Jesus, did you see that? I couldn't move. Well, he was moving in four directions, but that was that was it. Okay, a blade and a thousand weapons. Man. So which ones are for me? Should I get this one? I mean, he uses blades, right? He doesn't use rapiers, daggers, hammers, whips, katanas. Well, maybe he uses katanas, I don't know. Great sword. I'm just gonna go with a steel blade. And equip it, yeah, to Kirito, yeah, uh, main weapon, place. That's it, right? So should I buy an, I mean, can I see my equipment first to, un to get a better understanding? Finally a menu, equipment, equipment gear. No tutorials necessary, thanks. Okay, so... I just bought this one. Okay, well... Oh my god, fuck. Okay, so forget me not. I'll keep that equipped. Night Blade Sky. Yeah, keep this one. So I just bought... No, wait, this one's kind of better. Yeah, I'll keep this one. Kirito's cat outfit. That's the only thing I have. And this for the two accessories, right? Good, ac good accessories, actually. He's the only character in my party so far, right? There's no one else. Trying all the buttons. Yeah. Okay, so what about skill palette? Um, in case you equip something else, I guess. So he he can actually equip other weapons. No, I'm staying with my dual blades, thanks. Skill three, everything else is unable, uh, disabled right now. So we have to spend them wisely. What if I don't want to spend them wisely? We have enough, right? How many healing items do I have? Items, please, like healing items, like experience plus 10. Yeah. Recover some all amount, just three and three. That seems okay. Should I buy more? I'm gonna buy more items. Thank you, hard shot, Dave. Yeah, how about I buy maybe just two more and you know what that's it I'll keep the rest of the money when for when you have better equipment
Fine, let's uh, go here to the tent. Should do for shopping. Now I gotta get this stuff packaged up to carry. What? No! I don't want no packaging. All I wanna do is fight. Frame rate. Those new clothes. I'm only. I only equipped a freaking uh, scarf. Fair enough. Look at how he's getting all blushy. What's wrong with you? She's offended, man. Wow. All of them are gonna be my party members, including her. I told you it was a harem. Is that Sarai? Sarai. Why would she feel the need? You done? Why would she feel the need to say, like, despite our age, like, what, what? I, I don't get it. So pick your girl, guys. Got five here. I'm staying with Dorothy. <laughs> Yeah, Asuna was the one from the, all the way to the left. Bad girl. Next to Kirito. That's Asuna. Although I like the girl with blue hair. What about Alice? Didn't they say she was some kind of artificial intelligence? Oh, 
Nice armed opposition. That's what I'm talking about. No, it is happening, man. How else are we gonna fight? Oh, we ought to prove our strength in the way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. What? I shall not die except to save your life? Okay. Yep. Check out the newest Atelier cast. I mean, the girl with the ponytails in purple clothing carrying a backpack, she totally looks like she could be the protagonist of any Atelier game. And if not, the girl in green. They totally look straight out of Atelier games. Yeah, everybody's gotta say something, right? Silica! Silica! Atelier Silica! I will play that. And Dorothy from Shining Restaurant Refrain talks too much and gets poorly translated. I think you don't quite understand who you're traveling with. Bunch of badasses. Usually defend us! Okay, quite the feminist remark. I wouldn't mind being defended by any of those girls. If you know what I'm... So yeah, can you trust us now? Can you, can we go? Come on, little girl. She looks like she's one powerful mage type of girl with hidden powers. Though I don't see a, a magic pendant. No, 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 we do not need scout. I can be the scout. Me, the player. I'm, I'm here to play a video game. Can I choose my party now? I'm gonna be stuck with the... Well, yeah, yeah, show me the way. Show me everything. There's a pack, pal. I'll show you, please follow me. Yeah. Got it, lead on. Geez, like in Persona games, you know, everybody's gotta say something and they need to say it like 10,000 times. Like, we are, I know a way. Can you follow me? Yes. I know the right way, so you will follow me, right? Yes. But I just want you to know that I know a way. So can you follow me? Jeez, just do it. No need to say anything. And off we go, finally a long last into our first adventure. Yeah, right. Look, look! What the hell? Oh, there we go. So this is my party? What about the girls? Uh, okay. So, let's just go. Nice. So we're going, right? So I couldn't pick my my party members. Uh, okay, so now there's a quest the map, edit party, we can. We're stuck with these guys. That's fine. Oh man, side quest, yeah, thanks. I don't give a shit. Well, what if they're fetch quests? Sure, you lost something, we'll find it for you. All right, we'll find it for you. What else is here? You lost something too? You lose something? Okay, are oh, you there? Have you seen a letter? I managed to drop it while transporter. Yeah, we'll find it, man. We'll do it. So, wait a moment, I'm... Just heading into a different direction now. I'm excited now. Finally, I... I can play. 
no monsters yet. Let's save. Light pillar can be used as fast travel. All right. So I'm here. Now what? More? Oh, we're going the wrong direction apparently. Oh, they want me to use this, right? Oh no, they want me to go up. Here we are. More scenes, no fighting. Yeah, off to a great start game. I really doubt we can climb this. I remember there was this one game in the series, I played it on the PS Vita where you could fly. So characters can't fly anymore, huh? I've got a whip we could use. Here, let's try this. In, uh, in the game world there are objects you can interact with, oh, fine. So... Um... Oh fuck, I should have read the tutorial. Oh, there we go, yeah, it's easy, there. Oh no, oh, yeah, the scene of, oh, you made it! Yeah, that's pretty useful, that's bound to come in handy later. And it's loading. Wow, seriously? Took 10 seconds to load? That got everyone up. Never thought of uh, using a whip like that. Yeah, see what I mean? Maybe we'll find some place later to use this on. Let's get moving. Thanks, Kirito. Like, like shut up and... Okay. Here we go. So this is it, right? And I got a dew kissed ring. Oh, no. That pink hair girl, those are some short pants. Woo, magical beast! That means monsters we can fight. Let's fight or flee with them. Yeah, she can fight too, alright. Her, look at her nose. What happened there? It's just the light, right? Yes? Yeah, okay, so Dorothy has a soft side to her. Don't make a big deal out of it. Let's just go. Uh, teasing her already, yeah. So Dorothy, some kind of tsundere. This girl is kind of funny. <laughs> the hell is bet she reminds me of, of Veronica was that her name Veronica she's like Veronica right from the trails like shut up you girls are not even in the party you have no right to talk all right the first mission hopefully we won't get stupid tutorials Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, well, right. Let's go. That's a big ass scythe. The hidden pad is teeming with beasts. Yeah, right. Uh, press L2 to switch between control character. What? Partner? Okay, when out of SP, you can switch to use the partner sword skills and equipped combat skills. Uh, can I say first? Lots of save points, huh? 
Why I can't use it? I can't use Dorothy. Choose the two guys. Okay, that sucks. Let's just go. Okay, who are the monsters? There we are. No, Dorothy and Alice have joined the party. If the active character is incapacitated, control will switch to the main partner. Incapacitated characters will revive after some time, but these will take longer each time. If all party members are incapacitated, the game will end. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, apparently I can only use the guys. Oh, that's not fun. I wanted to play as Dorothy. Yeah, we got him. Come on! Get your ass over here! What an asshole, I keep trying to dodge with the circle button. But all I gotta do is click the square button, nothing, nothing else is happening. Uh, the game's too easy. You want to know what the good thing about the sword art online games is? That eventually, after a year or two, they go down in price considerably. Even physical. Digital, I see all the older games constantly for like $5. You mean Fire Emblem Engage, right? Someone's asking if... Uh, Dave's asking if you've played any more Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, you mean... you mean Engage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Heroes is the mobile game. <laughs> no, I haven't touched that one in years. Engage? No, I haven't. I'm still focusing on Persona uh, 3. I released a video today about remakes, but... um. Yeah. It failed. ダークテリトリーの住民ってそうですね。否定はできません。暗黒界は弱肉強食。力こそ全てという力の掟が存在します。well, there's no rush, is there, Matt? Uh, after all, Persona 3 will leave a lot to talk about. The game will probably need an entire podcast to cover. <laughs> it won't suffice a review alone. And uh, I'm 52 hours into it, which is now officially longer than my first two playthroughs on the original PS2 versions. I don't remember making... Well, I think I made like 50 hours on each playthrough my first time. And I'm... I'm well, I'm not close to the end, but I'm not far from it either. So, yeah, they definitely tried to make... No, they didn't try. They made it longer. Just as long as uh, Persona 5. So, yeah. yeah. At least I touched... Uh, Fire, Emblem, Fire Emblem Engage. I played it. I streamed it. I think you were there. Yeah, I'll play the others. We'll probably save all of them. Not all of them, but most of them for my next uh, five reviews. Five RPGs I need to talk to about. Imagine this game being there. It's not gonna be there. It's not gonna be there because apparently me covering demos pisses people off. They didn't get pissed off with the first videos though. It was a tradition to cover a demo in each of those videos. 
No, I'm just being an asshole. They just got pissed off because of the Final Fantasy 16 demo, but... All the other videos did pretty well in views, so... And I covered a demo in each of them. No, I didn't cover a video in the second... Uh, a demo in, a, in the second video. The second video was when, when I covered another game you sent, which was Judgment. There was Astria ascending... Uh, what else was there? Cthulhu saves Christmas. Uh, what else was there? Uh, Adventure Acad Academia, I think. Yeah. There wasn't a demo in there. Anyway, so yeah. We'll see what happens. Content in my main channel is about to change a bit. Need to take the channel into a different direction. ベクタの迷子と呼ばれている。おそらく暗黒神ベクタが幾の対象であるとから、負の出来事に紐付けられることが多いんだ。ダークテリトリー側にも人海にあるような神話があり、その神話の影響が人々の笑われている。You need to tell me who you are on YouTube, okay? I know Matt is tactic M, but Dave, I don't recognize you. I mean, I've seen you here on Twitch, but not on YouTube unless you have a different username. Oh, Dad, dude, no. なるほど。でも、それって和平を目指す俺たちとしては、わ、しっかりとした意思統一がされていない今だからこそ、二つの世界が手を結ぶ未来が残された。まさにその通りです。深海側にもシャスター様のようなお考えの方がいるとは。キ
Ah, uh, let's cadaddle. Yeah, go, 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 go. Quest failed, of course. She had like 5 million HP. What's up with that? It's like, what is it, like Xenoly Chronicles? Putting like super high level monsters? At the beginning of the game? Jesus. Battery's dying. Oh man, I can't reach the freaking cable. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna have to stand up. Give me one second. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, a boss fight. Cool. More tutorials, fuck off. Oh my god! There we go. Give Yujiro an order. I'm just gonna kill him. There, he's dead. Or not. There we go. Oh my god! Alice is what? I don't even care. Give Alice an order. Okay. What happened? Oh, I need to switch to this guy and give her an order, right? There we go. No? I'm trying. There we go. More fucking tutorials. Oh, man, it's killing me, man. There, we got him right. No more tutorials there. Jesus. That was way too easy though. I know it's the tutorial boss, but didn't we get a tutorial boss before? Did we really need a second tutorial boss? After giving your main partner an order with tactical arts command mode, press circle to throw them a nice and raise morale. 
Nice. What's this? I can't go there? Can go back to save? Their save point is right there. Fine. Man, enemies don't even put up a fight, and I'm playing on normal mode. The combat's awesome, though, but... The controls are awesome, too, but, you know, I mean... I'm just button mashing and winning. Not even using my skills. What? There's a scene every two minutes, man. Well, at least that was short. Hitting the enemy with a series of different swords. Uh, yeah. Getting serious. SP recovers over time, I'm seeing. You gotta keep fighting. Oh, wow. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm doing. Reach a 1.2 multiplier. Right? Oh, we got it? Okay. Gonna throw fire. got him right okay we got him well that was that was actually a good fight very easy though but it's it's a good fight so far it's been the best part of the game so we saved the guy the guy that's supposedly going to offend us
起きる戦いだと思ってたところがあるよだからすぐには思いつかないやそう言ってるのは確かですじゃあですね戦いましたたくさん死にましたどっちかが勝ったとしてそれでその後はもし暗黒海軍が勝ったとしましょう暗黒海は資源が少ないですだから人海の水や果実豊穣が約束された土地を喜んで奪うでしょうでもですね進行しても人海の土地を有効活用できなきゃ資源の問題も解決しませんまあ、暗黒海全体のことを考えたら人海と交易でも始めた方がよっぽど将来のためになるんですダークテリトリーと交易ですか今は想像もつきませんわ私からすると戦争の流れの方が想像したくないですしできないですね私は剣も弓も使えませんそれはいや暗黒騎士さんを含めてそちらの騎士さんの騎士道を否定したいわけじゃないんですよ何か起きたら守ってくれるのは騎士さんですからたく本当に戦いたくもない力も弱いただ大地に根ざして生きてるもんからすると今の状況は怖いんですよ戦争なんて始まってほしくないんですなんで特徴レンギルの名題として言わせてもらいます将校ギルドとしては利益の大して出ない戦争より和平に手助けして利益のある未来を望みますいざ平和になったらそちらさんと独占的な交易をさせてもらえたらこいなるほどやはり和平三両派も一概に全員同じやつじゃない暗黒騎士はダークテリトリー全体のためって感じだが将校ギルドは悪これは他の十。視野は広い男ですねまともな人物ではないですかクッカイナンドの悪い癖はそのうち分かりますうんはい。If you encounter me again, yeah, yeah. Love it. Okay, so so far we only got this. Mmm. Okay. We can't edit the party yet, though. Well, it's midnight where I live. I think I'm gonna call it quits. I've seen enough.、Uh, sure, I'll beat the demo. Not sure how long it is, though. 10 out of 10 game? No way. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. It's too soon to judge.、Uh, well, on the good side, the combat is awesome, although it's been extremely easy so far. The graphics look nice, they look like a、uh, late. High quality PS3 game or early PS4 game, but I'm not complaining. I mean, never been a graphics snob.、Uh, I like the character design. The story is like okay all over the place because I don't understand anything, but at least I understand the basics. Like there's a war, and you know,、uh, there's this girl, Dorothy, who wants to、uh, make peace, and she blah blah blah. We've seen the story so far with the commerce guy and whatnot. 
Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's a good game, I like it. I think it's uh, out of the very few Sword Art Online games I've played, this is the one that's giving me the better impressions, I guess. I will need to keep playing it, though. Yeah, but, eh, good game for Sword Art Online game. <laughs> it's good, but it's not like, wow, masterpiece! <laughs> no. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.